Jian Guanda, the chairman of Tsingshan, one of the world's largest stainless steel and nickel producers, is known as a big shot in the Chinese commodity circle. He's been in the news lately as he's reportedly created a massive short position in nickel futures and he's facing billions of dollars in mark-to-market losses. This is, of course, after the metal saw an unprecedented price rise amid the Russia-Ukraine war. The Chinese tycoon believed that the prices of nickel, which are used in batteries of electric vehicles and in stainless steel, would fall. However, prices spiked following the conflict in Ukraine, and these nickel prices had already risen due to the increased demand from EV producers. In 2019, the prices surged by 30% and 20% in 2020, and then 25% in 2021. With this, the tycoon is facing a loss of billions of dollars. In fact, the paper loss of Tiangshan Holdings reportedly stood at $8 billion on Monday, as the short position of the Chinese company on the London Stock Exchange was around 100,000 tons of nickel. The loss is followed by the suspension of metal trading on the London Stock Exchange after a significant rise in nickel prices. The loss amount will intensify if intermediaries are involved in the transaction. And people having knowledge on the matter highlighted that Guangda has closed part of the company's short position and is assessing whether to exit the bet altogether or not. On Tuesday, before the suspension of trading on the LME, nickel prices reached a record high of $173,000 a tonne. And in just two days, the cost of the metal have multiplied by three times. Year to date, prices have surged by around 400%. So the already bullish nickel market has further electrified with the beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war. Now, of course, Russia is among the largest producers of nickel, with a 13% mining capacity in 2020. The rise in nickel prices has created a lot of pressure on the short position holders, as they must be receiving margin calls from brokers to deposit additional funds to hold that position. And of course, due to margin calls, the short position holders generally rush to close their position, leading to a rise in prices. Close associates of Tian Shan revealed that the company has been struggling to make margin call payments, while credit banks in China have aired their concern towards the business's balance sheet. More updates to follow. I'm Holly Shields for Kalkine Media.